All right, we are here at Copper. Thought we could just catch a few fish here at Copper just for fun, see what we get. This is uh, 66.55, very short clip eight. Right here at I-4, but right in the corner there, 66.55, not falling from spawn. This is gonna mostly be a, as far as I know, a, um, you know, gibble, tinch spot now the temperature has gone back to normal at least for now so maybe we'll see some f1s or i don't know an occasional dinks or something but that has not been um especially when the temperature were increased this spot was much more about just you know, still doing pretty good with gibble carp and tench. So I thought, we, well, you know, just kind of see what we catch here over the course of a few minutes because there's some other stuff to talk about. And um, I thought we might as well fish while we're talking about the other stuff. Nothing major, but I thought there was enough going on uh, basically here at the end of the week and this weekend that might be worth making a, just a little video just kind of reminding folks of what's coming up some of which we don't really know some of it some of it we do know about so um let me start rolling through some of this again not not huge news but you know just little things we have coming up and all right first thing is i'm sure we're going to be just absolutely disrupted a lot here but because this spot especially this time of day is really good bite rate and i do want to show some fish so while it's a good bite rate I'm trying to figure out if it's worth <laughs> just fishing or do we go ahead and start talking about some of the quote unquote news uh okay well all three went off at the same time and and you know when it's tinch time spots like this obviously you're going to catch some tinch i guess we could use this opportunity since we're We've got this tinch bite rate to show you exactly what we're fishing with. You can probably tell, um, but it is, of course, uh, cream corn. I promise there will come a day where cream corn is not the default bait we use here at Copper. It's been this way for a little while, but if you've been around for more than a minute or two, you know that it will not last. Um, so this is what we're using to fish with and uh, by the way if you look in chat you'll see yes I am fishing on cozy so we just caught a trophy tench on cozy in the same spot with just the corn and um, no PVA because we don't have PVA on cozy yet so always nice to see that uh, something's working pretty good we just do some ground bait in the water and Still catching nice fish even without the PVA. All right. Okay, so. The first thing is um, this weekend is double XP weekend. Now, I gotta I gotta say I just don't remember. Have we had this before? I know that Chroma absolutely goes nuts when I have these like bright internet screens up. Have we had this before? Somebody that's been around for a while, let me know. Have we had times two XP weekends? Um, but we've got it this coming weekend. So August 23rd at zero UTC until August 26th. I have that, if I've done the conversion correct, I have that as being, um, as being Thursday night at about 8 p.m. Again, I, I may have the conversion wrong. Somebody check my math there. But uh, if you're on Eastern time zone in North America like I am, I've got that starting at Thursday at 8 p.m. and perhaps going until Monday at 8 p.m. But I may be doing the math wrong. Either way, pretty big news that we have um, 
we have a double XP weekend. So if you're really focused on leveling and wanting to level, then obviously this is a, a time when that's going to be, well, twice as attainable as it normally is. And there's nothing that's on here that says, you know, any like clarifying things, like it doesn't appear that you have to have premium or anything like that. I was also wondering, does it affect leveling up your skills and those kinds of things? But it doesn't say that. So I'm going to go with it's just going to be twice as much XP per fish and that it might not be anything else. But uh, we'll find out when it starts. Um... So that's one, that's one bit of news. The other thing that's popped up is if you've logged into the game today, you saw, um, oh, let me respond to this really quick. Uh, if you've seen the launcher today or just the news pop up on RF4, we actually have a server client server restart and client update and that's going to be at 2 a.m eastern time on august 21st so i'm recording this it's 8 p.m on august 20th so actually overnight tonight starting at 2 a.m it says clients restart sorry server restart and client update that feels like um you know that sounds like we could have some fish migration the approximate time of the of the server being down is supposed to be six hours so that doesn't necessarily mean oh there's a little c2 that doesn't necessarily mean in my opinion that it's gonna have like significant things added to the game um but it could mean changes or additions like that's how long the server is down when they are adding you know, something. Now, obviously, we're not getting a new map. We may not be getting anything. They may just be fixing a couple things on the uh, client side, right? So they got to update it. So I'm not trying to get people's hopes up about new content. I'm just saying it is interesting when you get that six hour mark and um, the clarification that both the server and the game, uh, server will be restarted, game will be updated. Uh, So, no idea what people are talking about. Um, so anyway, I am curious to see, you know, if there's anything. Anytime I see like, you know, that kind of update, I'm like, oh, I wonder if that will be anything that will affect, affect gameplay or whatnot. It definitely feels way too recent that we got copper to expect any kind of um, even like new equipment or new stuff like that. I mean, I just, I just don't see that, but I'm, I'm just curious to see what, what it is. And it also means this is where, you know, these two pieces of news that I've worked into this, they, they sort of intersect at this, at this address, right? Like, if fish get migrated, how good is fishing going to be for this weekend when we have double XP? Now, thankfully, there's some there's some places like Copper Lake where I'm fishing right now that feels like it's pretty resistant to that. Uh, like we've yet to see a time where you couldn't at least come have a pretty decent experience at Copper. And there's other places like that too, sort of other maps, other spots, I would say that is almost always worth checking out one way or the other but it will be i will be curious to see what kind of update are we getting tomorrow how are you know how are fish and fishing activities looking after um after the update as we think about this weekend of uh double xp so So let's see. Yeah, I think that was, I think those were the two major things I wanted to, I want to discuss just in terms of like this upcoming weekend. 
Um, I am hoping to be able to spend a good bit of time. Um, so today is Wednesday and by Wednesday, I mean Tuesday. Um, tomorrow is Wednesday. Today's Tuesday. I'm recording this Tuesday night. So tomorrow, Wednesday afternoon, I will likely try to get a short stream in, but then I'll definitely get some time in Friday. Uh, I think it's very likely I'll get a little time in Friday, Saturday afternoon, and uh, maybe even a little bit Sunday afternoon. So especially with the double XP and then on the off chance that this update has anything interesting in it. Um, I will um, get some time in. This this would likely be a good a good uh, weekend to go premium, not premium. Is that what it's called? Yeah, <laughs> premium on uh, on cozy, just for the weekend, just like a three day premium pass, and uh, work on leveling up ground bait a little bit. See if we can't push towards 80, 90 percent even really throw a lot of um, silver on the cozy account towards leveling up ground bait. That's sort of the main thing I would want to accomplish if I did do a weekend of um, of premium over there is especially on the happy hours really like focus trying to level that up. You know, of course, fishing a good bit too, because you'll get some bottom points. At, right now, by the way, I'm at uh, 64.7 on bottom percent, but that's not as big a deal until you get 100%. I mean, you can do some different rig types and stuff, but I shouldn't say till you get PV, I mean, until you get 100%, until you get spot, probably spot, and then um, method are the more interesting things, but the big thing is like just having more options on what we can do with our ground bait and stuff on a, on a leveling, sort of on a lower level account. Fishing at copper, it could just be a big, make a big difference. So just some, I guess some things coming up this week and I'm hoping to be able to get some time in both streaming as well as just like experimenting some making some content on uh, on cozy we'll see how it goes so the only thing i need to balance that with or figure out i've, I've got a buddy who and i'm just like processing so i'm a i'm a a verbal processor so like I I'm like thinking about things as I'm saying them is what that what I mean by that um, I have a buddy that I we started playing WoW together um, the, the exact same night we, we both started playing and you know we're in like I don't think it was Discord at that point, TeamSpeak or something else. But um, and so we've kind of always played expansions and stuff together. And I'm just like sitting here thinking and remembering that I think the new expansion actually starts Thursday. So I don't I don't think this completely changes my RF4 plans this weekend, but I will probably set aside at least some time. It, it could actually cut into it some, because I probably will set aside some time just to kind of chill with him and play the new expansion. I mean, it's funny, every time an expansion comes out, like I feel like I spend less and less time actually in playing it or enjoying it. I mean, hopefully this will be a good expansion. Maybe I'll get into it for a little bit, but... Um, that's something else that I suppose I have going on starting this weekend. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see how it all goes. But um, all right. Anyway, here we are. 66.55 in 20 minutes. We're at 27 fish. So obviously very good bite rate. Now, the time of day that we started, notice that we could not have started at a more active time, both in terms of quality and quantity, I would say. And it's only going to slow down from here. But the bite rate's so good that I doubt it slows down that much. 
Obviously, we've got an easy Tinch Cafe order. We'll probably get this Gibble. It depends on how many small ones we get. Uh, same with that Crucian. I'd say that Crucian's a, a no-brainer. Um, so in 20 minutes, we did, what was this? 16, 144, 54, 160. I mean, this is never going to be like a... You'd have to hit trophies to uh, up your silver per hour on this spot, but it is a fun spot because you've got trophy chance and you also, of course, um, just have a good bite rate. So if you're trying to level up your, your bottom fishing or just have some fun at copper, this does seem to be a good spot. Although now that the temperature is normal, I bet there are many other good spots as well. It would be nice to sort of locate a spot that still has a pretty good bite rate, but that's got a, a, a nice load of uh, F1s. Um, now the, the key will be, we've got normal temperatures throughout this week. The key though will be a couple of real life days from now as we walk into the weekend. Can we get some, um, can we get some normal temp days? We've had a lot of up and downs weather in these past like two real life weeks, I'd say two or two to three. A lot of elevated, some decreased, and shorter and shorter periods of normal temp. So um, it definitely seem, feels like we're, we're due a little bit of a longer stretch of normal. All right, I'm going to keep sitting sit here, fish just a few minutes more. I just want to kind of see what the afternoon brings. Sometimes that's when the F1s will pop in. Though the fact that I've caught neither on MDOG or Cozy, a single F1 makes me think, they're probably just not biting in this spot right now, but I'm going to give it a few more minutes and then I'll update you on how we've done and we'll wrap it up. But thanks for being here. I'll be back in just a few minutes. All right, I am back. And yeah, I mean, <clears throat> like I said before, <clears throat> I bet that there is a spot out here now that it's normal temperature that is infinitely better than this. This hasn't been bad, but as predicted, it did slow down both in quality and quantity once we got to the middle of the day. We're now back at the like cooler part of the late afternoon, early evening, and uh, it'll probably be a little better for a few moments before it gets to overnight. But um, yeah, we're really not we're really not doing a whole lot. And over the course of the hour. I mean, for what it's worth, we're at, what, 37 fish. We've turned in some for cafe, but not a lot. On the alt account, on Cozy, without PVA, we're at 30 fish. And ex except for the trophy tinch that we caught over on Cozy, the quality has been a little bit better on the PVA. We've had way more, like, sub-marker common carp and just weird stuff. Uh, over on uh, Cozy without PVA than we have compared to on MDOG with PVA. So, I mean, net, I mean, over the course of time, of course, like you expect, PVA is still probably the better option in most situations. But because of that trophy tinch, you know, it's closer than it might normally be. Um, yeah, so anyway, I mean, I think we'll go ahead and just wrap this up. Let's see what we have what we've made we've we're at about 200 silver on cozy with that with that uh with that trophy and we'll probably be uh almost that without a trophy here so it's almost the exact same silver but well here's the real test i guess let's see how much silver we have on cozy without the i mean this is one of those situations like copper can do this sometimes you like you think like, oh, copper's, you know, so much better with PVA. And then you actually do a comparison like this. 175 to 133. 175 on my main account, 133 on Cozy. Um, the best thing I can say about this spot right now, frankly, is that if you're just like trying to catch a Tinch or Gibble trophy, this is probably still like an okay spot to sit and do that. But... Even people in chat just a minute ago were talking about like other spots on the map where they were testing and catching F1s and stuff. I just guarantee you there's like so many spots and, and, and bait combinations or whatever that uh, where we could be and, and probably do significantly better than what we're doing right now. So 
Anyway. Because I have like messed up my camera angle. There we go. All right. So I think we're good. Just making sure no, no more fish were, were biting here. Uh, all right, let's wrap it up. So like I said, we've got some interesting things coming up. We've got an update that we just don't know if it's like actually going to be, you know, anything that impacts us or are they just like squashing some bugs, doing some stuff that's, you know, uh, that needs to be done on client side. And then we've got double XP weekend. And in case you care, we've also got some M dog streams coming up. And as a bonus, I guess we've got the launch of the newest expansion in world of Warcraft for what that's worth. All right. As always, thanks for watching. Y'all are the best tight lines, everybody. I will see you soon. I hope you can come by and say hello and I uh, hope you're enjoying your fishing. Talk to you later.